right, hello from the WYMT Skyler Weather Center. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jim Caldwell. We are going to take over the coverage from uh, Channel 27 as now it is entering eastern Kentucky. And we're going to get you uh, up to date on what's happening right now with some uh, tornadic activity. It's been a, a big time day so far and it continues here into the uh, evening hours and uh, into the uh, nighttime hours it looks like uh, for the folks in central and now eastern parts of Kentucky. Let me break you off right here because we just got a new report. Oh, Tornado wow. on the ground in Menifee County. That's from emergency management. We're just now getting I, this. You see this right yeah, here? Right you there see it that is. Right there. That's the, all right. That's exactly what's happening right there. This is classic. And, yeah, and, and, exactly. There's a mouse on the screen there. I can't see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that, that, this right here, friends, that is absolutely classic development to, for a tornado. You see that hook? Wow. Yeah, wow. it's, that's that, classic that, definition right that, there. That right there, when you when you go to meteorology school and they say you look for a tornado, this is one of the this is one of the easiest ones to pick oh, out. Yeah, that, exactly. that, that's what it is, and uh, that's what we have there with that. Uh, wow. Uh, We're going back to this cell for just a minute because uh, they're all important. We like to get to everywhere, but this is the one we have a confirmed uh, tornado at some point on the ground in Menifee County, and you see it right there. Still got the very classic uh, hook signature there going across through parts now into Morgan County. You see it's to the north of West Liberty, but it looks like the possibility for the southern end could still clip the city, so you definitely need to be in your safe place right now if you're in West Liberty. It's for that terrible looking storm mm -hmm. uh, going through Morgan County number two this week man I mean that's Tor just, you tornado on the ground in West Liberty we've got tornado a report, on the ground tornado on the ground in West Liberty from the National Weather Service uh, and the, the big headline tornado on the ground and that, just west of West Liberty as Brandon says confirmed by state police, state uh, police. over in that area so we're going to go back to Morgan County because we're still waiting on the other one to cross the Tennessee border but we will I promise get back to it for you all here in just a, a few minutes uh, but right there, you see it. You, you see it on radar, and 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 how intense uh, that, that this cell looks. This the storm is just uh, a, a tough one. Uh, it, it's truly a tough one. Uh, I, I just I, I can't believe how how impressive that that looks on radar right now. New tornado warning for Johnson, McGoffin, Martin, Morgan, and Rowan until 6:45. So they're carrying this even further out. It looks like at this point. All right now here again here this is just something I want to share with you all and the reason these these counties have been extended and the, the, the whole setup and the whole dynamic of this warning has been changed is because the nature. Let me grab my uh, let me grab my keypad here. Let me try to show you all what's happening. This storm that you, you see right here, right here, what it's trying to do now uh, due to the way it's rotating in the atmosphere, the general flow is going to take it this way, okay, off right. toward the northeast. But what in this at the same time, it's going to move eastward and veer ever so slightly off toward the southeast. So meaning that as it goes more toward the southeast, places like northern McGoffin and right into Johnson County get affected. That's what these storms do. I, and, and it's been a long time since I've actually got to watch one do that. So that's what kind of a weather situation that we're dealing with out there today. It's right because it's got all of the necessary things right. uh, that come together and make for a nasty weather day. So that's how it's going to try to eventually travel again, kind of veering, not straight uh, toward the southeast, but it'll veer more and more. That's why more in the way of Johnson County is included because this is as textbook as you get. OK, new report. Got to get this and I hate to interrupt you. We've got a report from law enforcement in West Liberty of officers in a vehicle hit by the tornado. Oh, wow. Don't know of any injuries at this point, but a new report just coming in from the National Weather Service uh, as of 6.01, so four minutes ago, of officers being hit by a tornado while they were in a vehicle. So that's uh, the newest information coming out here. So again, still a very dangerous situation. Hey, hey, Let me interrupt you here. New report from the National Weather Service, significant damage in downtown West Liberty, courthouse damage, people da trapped in damaged buildings with injuries. So it looks like West Liberty has taken a direct hit. Well, we were talking a minute ago, you know, hoping to get some information from those folks over there. But I'll tell you what, they've got their hands full. Uh, and it looks like, again, uh, Brandon, reading that to a significant damage in downtown West Liberty uh, courthouse damage. People possibly trapped in uh, damaged buildings. We don't know if that's the courthouse. We don't know where right, that is. Exactly. But they are trapped in buildings there with injuries. Now, as far as loss of life, we have no clue uh, as of that yet, but we're still in the early stages uh, with this storm at this point.
Away. Steve, jump in there. He's got some new information on Morgan County. Well, first of all, that storm you were talking about in Middlesbrough, I just talked to Jerrica Ensco. She's in our Cumberland Valley uh, Bureau down in Middlesbrough. She said it looks very scary outside. We may be able to talk to her in a little bit. I also want to relay this. I talked to the National Weather Service in Jackson, an official there, uh, about possible fatalities. That, that report comes from both law enforcement and emergency management of fatalities and injuries. They couldn't tell me how many fatalities, how many injuries. I've heard uh, several injuries, multiple injuries. They say it appears that this tornado may have went right through the middle of town. There, again, there's a report the courthouse was hit. You asked me a moment ago if it was just in West Liberty or all across the county. He says they've had reports from all across the county of damage. He doesn't know if this was one huge tornado that was on the ground for a long period of time, or he says there could have been just multiple touchdowns uh, across the county, but it does not sound good in Morgan County. Anyway, moving toward Sayersville and Paintsville at this point also maybe even toward the northern half of Prestonsburg. So all those areas right there that Jimmy has got outlined, you need to be in a safe spot right now. So all those folks in a basement and a low point of your home, an interior hallway or room, stay away from those windows. Uh, a, a interior bathroom is good if you don't have some of those locations to go to. Uh, just a fortified room under something as sturdy as you can get in there. See right there, that's what concerns me again. Mm -hmm. See how I've made a, a little bit of a hook myself there with the drawing. Right. Uh, and and uh, that's almost, that's not as, as strong as the other. The exactly. Other one, the other one was so strong was and so very intense defensive. that it, 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 when I saw it on radar, it, it shocked uh, me. Yeah. It scared me because it was so, right. uh, so well defined. The storm originally, it was trying to track off just toward this direction again. It would have been more yep. toward the south of, of, uh, of uh, West Liberty. But what happened, that, to pull. that natural veer again. Yep. It started pulling back more toward the southeast. That's just the way that the rotation kind of pulls. It got you got a, a very intense exactly. uh, rotation inside that storm. It kind of drives it more toward the southeast. So here you come, Sayersville. Uh, it's coming right now in your general direction. And but they just say it's very bad. Uh, I heard one report unconfirmed again that West Liberty was leveled. So I just want to tell you that. It could be that bad. Uh, we haven't independently confirmed it, but we are hearing reports. Every report coming in is bad out of Morgan County. We also have a report, and it doesn't say exactly why, Jim, but I've got it zoomed in here to Sayersville. Mm -hmm. National Weather Service saying a very dangerous situation right now in the city of Sayersville. This was the same storm that a few minutes ago I was watching, and you were watching uh, very closely because it again had that uh, that hook, that signature right. that we look for. Okay, this is the new new image coming in with the radar, and, and it's even closer. It's coming right together, right, right around Sayersville. Let me get my, my pen again, and you can see coming right together right around that area. Right. So the tornado is going to be in that general location, and that means it could run smack dab uh, into the city of Salyersville uh, over there in uh, McGoffin County. Let's take it up close and personal. This is not, again, not quite as intense looking on radar as the uh, uh, Morgan, Morgan, County County, storm. Morgan County storm, but it's, I'll tell you what, it's. Uh, pretty darn close. Devin, let's switch our source. Let's switch our source and show that picture. All right, there you see it. There you see it. Uh, off in the distance, uh, you can see what appears to me. Now, this is the most the clearest picture I've ever seen here in eastern that, Kentucky. That's a, a pretty sizable tornado, too. Of a tornado, and that is a good-sized tornado. You're absolutely right. Now, this touched down near, uh, over in uh, Fleming County, right? Or uh, 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 Menifee, County. Menifee, Menifee, Menifee County. County. Menifee right. County. And this was the one that then traveled on into Morgan County. All of this, you can see the signatures still right there for just a second. This coming in a little while ago. Look at that. Take me a little more toward the east and you can see what's happening. There it's coming down toward the city of Paintsville. Perfect. Stop right there. There you see that. Again, this is a key signature and what we've been watching pretty much with every one of these storms for the last several hours. Look at that. I mean, that is coming right out of, again, Meteorology 101. Sit right Right still, see the city of Paintsville, Van Leer, Oxshire down there in Floyd County. It's coming your way. This is possibly producing a tornado. I feel very bad about this storm. That, that, that's the God's honest truth, because I think it does have all of the right. Uh, it has all the right moves and all the right ingredients to possibly be producing a tornado. So if you're in Paintsville, Van Leer, and out into Oxshire, and extreme northern parts of Floyd County, you have the possibility 
of a tornado coming right at you right now in those areas. Okay, Jim, I'm going to interrupt right you here. Go right ahead. Let me take you take, back take, out take, here take because we have a tornado on the ground uh, confirmed right here, I believe, near Bernstadt. Near Bernstadt. So let's go right in this general area. That's where you're going to find it. So, so it should so, be. So zoom us in a little tighter. Let's see if we can. It should be right. Maybe that, right here. To that general area. Go, go right back. here, there actually. You go. Right there. There's Bernstadt. There's, there's Bernstadt. You see Bernstadt. And so this was confirmed here, right? Yeah, this was uh, coming in uh, about a minute ago. Tornado on the ground confirmed by County Dispatch near Bernstadt. That is in Laurel County. How Jimmy, things. New yes. report here from law enforcement. Wow. Uh, auto advanced, or excuse me, advanced auto roof, roof ripped off. This is in Salyersville. Salyersville. Rescue squad uh, flipped. With active power lines on unit, must be a rescue squad vehicle. Tornado on the ground in Sayersville. Tornado on the ground. At what time was that? That was at 7 10. So 7 about 10. 11 minutes ago. So that's probably already moved through that area, but sounds like it's leaving damage behind. So that runs, uh, if it's an advanced auto part, so that's right along the uh, Mountain Parkway. Right. Uh, or the, well, not really the Mountain Parkway right anymore. There, the close to it. Right there, the extension of it comes along to uh, 114, what the know is Highway 114, and that runs uh, out toward, uh, there's several restaurants, so that's kind of the booming part of, of uh, Sagersville as mm -hmm. far as the restaurants and uh, the hotels and motels go. They're all stretched out right through there in the car lot through there, so there could be all kinds of damage uh, coming in due to the fact that uh, a lot of people travel right through that area heading to Paintsville, Prestonsburg, and uh, over into Pikeville. But now here we go. Look at this latest sweep coming in. Oh, look at that. Classic coming right in. into Van Leer. Listen to me, Van Leer. You've got to be, you've got to be somewhere safe right now. I mean, there's, it's just, it's right there on you. Uh, Brandon, now, uh, I've, I've just returned. I've been gathering some information uh, and uh, talked to our, one of our production folks, uh, Clark Embry, who has a friend that lives over in Paintsville, who okay. sent him a message, says that around the Hanger Hill area, his uh, he lived in in a trailer, but it's it, it's gone. Okay. Uh, total destruction apparently just over there, down uh, in that area uh, there around uh, Hager Hill. Just, just look at this. You see how that kind of comes back down and around. You got a lot of heavy rainfall, catching some debris probably. But this storm has looked like this for a while now. It, it was well over into Johnson County, McGoffin County, with the same type characteristics, uh, with that same hook, and that's why we're getting all these reports coming in from McGoffin County right now of, of damage right there along uh, Highway 114 uh, around. Uh, all of the restaurants around Subway, around uh, advanced auto parts in that general area of, of uh, the county. Now, this is the same storm, but now it's an INES, and you possibly have some tornadic activity somewhere in this general area south of the city, south of the city, or it could be rather close, but notice where I've got this little indicator, the automatic indicator that's showing where the rotation was just within the last few minutes. It's just analyzing the storm as a whole, so that would put it out close to the board coming, oh, and there you see perfect timing for that yep. to show up. Okay. Right there. Perfect timing right there. And now this comes more toward Warfield and then crosses on over into West Virginia here. Okay. All right, now let's go straight to that video. Let's go straight to that video. Look at this, my friends. Oh, oh my wow. God. Look at that. This was oh, in Morgan goodness. County when the tornado came. Rip. I cannot find a TV that doesn't have a glare on it. Let's uh, over here, Jimmy. I'll just about shut the lights off so I can see it. All right, and there you see it. What? A massive tornado. I, I told you. That, that's what I told you. I said this was going to be a doozy. It's going to be strong. It was big. Uh, the indicator on radar. Wow. There you see the tornado in Morgan County uh, and why we're having so much trouble getting a hold of the folks over there. Let's just hope that reports that we've seen are not true. But with a storm like that, Brandon, it, it's yeah. hard. It's hard to, to say otherwise. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the magnitude of that, it, it, I, exactly you know, you don't want to guess yeah. on, on scale, but that's that looks almost half a mile wide just looking at it from this video. So, again, that's... Uh, the reports that we've gotten would not surprise me. And again, thoughts and prayers definitely go out to those folks because uh, to see something like this barreling towards you, I, I can't imagine. I, I can't imagine what it was like for them. Uh, we got a report on Twitter that Lexington, the Lexington Fire Department is sending multiple units to West Liberty to provide mutual aid. So that leads you to believe that there may be several injuries. Uh, yeah. because of and looking at that video you showed just a moment ago just incredible 
what would you say that tornado was if you just had to guess? F three, F four, maybe. You, you'd have to you'd have to go, definitely go high end F two or go into the EF three range just just by looking at it. I mean, it, it, it'll be determined, but it'll probably be somewhere up there. Maybe the strongest one. And and I don't think we've ever had one that strong. Uh, in Eastern Kentucky in at least the last few years. You know, you and I, we've been here uh, together a long time. You've been here 13 years and I've been here 11 years. Uh, and, and I can't think of a, a severe weather, just strictly severe weather night where it was not just flooding, but severe weather that like this. Can you? As far as tornadoes go, no doubt, this is the worst. And let's certainly keep all of the people in these areas that were highly affected uh, in our prayers. Uh, and uh, and let's, uh, let's hope that everything, everyone, uh, ends up uh, okay, and let's hope that some of these ports of loss of life were, were just inaccurate. But let's hope. Let's hope that's the case. But uh, we are now going to get back to regularly scheduled programming here on WYMT. Thanks for watching.